feel like I look so freaking tired, but I am home finally. <sighs> Trying to take a nap if I have time. I have to be at the CES event at 6.30 and it's 4.39. I've been out running all day like crazy. Just trying to get my car stuff straight. And then I had that meeting um, at 1 earlier today. But I didn't have a car to get to. So that's how the Uber thing happened. Um, But where have I been? Like just to catch you guys up. Like things have been kind of crazy for me. Um, like I told you guys before, um, when I left the PR firm in like October, I haven't had a constant nine to five since then. Like I, when I tell you guys, it, it was when I first left my job. I have a friend who was on the music, and I texted him and told him he was like, "Congratulations!" And I was like, "Well, he's crazy. Like I'm sitting over here stressed out. Like how am I about to pay my bills? Like." How's everything going to work out? And he's just like, no, like, congratulations. Like, now that you left that job that you felt like wasn't what you really wanted to do, it just was related, like, you have no choice now but to make what you want happen in the hustle because you're going to have to stay on your feet. You're used to certain things. You, you know, you have responsibilities. Like, you are going to have no choice but to hustle. And when he said it to me at that moment, I think that I was just like, yo, he's crazy, like, he don't know my hustle mean I'm about to, like, go get another job real fast. Like, I'll have another job. I, like, next week. And, like, it didn't happen like that. Like, I worked retail, um, seasonal. I went back home in December, and I had, like, a whole launch party for my website to make some cash. I um, came back, and I was I was freelancing um, through a, a, um, a placement agency. So I was working with, like, all different companies, like, doing various stuff. I've done like event stuff for Microsoft. I did um, admin work for a luxury uh, a luxury real estate agency that is like really bomb on her because they like like they listed like the Playboy Mansion recently recently. Like I've done a lot of different stuff. I recently um worked a day at um, the Kim Kardashian and Courtney Chloe, the da the Kardashian store, the Dash doll store. Um I was going through the process with them to see if I was going to be hired there part-time. I still haven't heard back um, from them. But, like, that one day there was, like, crazy. Like, that, like, the, so the dash store that I worked at is kind of, like, the tourist spot because it's on Melrose. And Melrose is, like, a really big shopping spot here in L.A. Like, if you go down Melrose, you have the Fairfax District, which is, like, really big for streetwear. And then you come up Melrose, you have all the designer stuff, which is, like, the Marc Jacobs, um, the YSLs, I like some of the smaller, like, upscale boutiques. And then in the middle, you have, like, those Nasty Gals, um, the Eden Rock. Like, there's a bunch, not Eden Rock, I'm sorry, Eden. Um, a bunch of different places that are, like, smaller boutiques with, like, higher price points. Um, but, yeah, so, like, during my, I was there for four hours. Within those four hours, I probably got asked 20 times if I've ever met Kim Kardashian. And I haven't, but the other girls who work there have because... The Kardashians come in there a lot. The TMZ tour bus stopped to, like, let people, like, take pictures of the store, take pictures. They came in and were, like, asking to take pictures with us. So, it's, like, if you work there, you're, like, a dash doll. Like, you represent the store. So, it's, like, you kind of, like, are, like, a part of the Kardashian clan. So, that was, like, pretty, like, it was different. It was cool, though, but it was different. Um, and you, they just get so many tourists in there. Like, people fly from all over. I'm sorry. That's one. People fly from all over the country just to go in that store just to say that they've been there like so i talked to girls from london from australia like from the east coast like all over like people come from all over so that one day was like super crazy the manager that i worked with um for the day i was there was um jennifer jennifer was um one of the girls that were actually on the show like big curly hair um and then it was another assistant manager there they were really really cool Despite popular belief, the girls at the dash store, at least not the ones that I worked with, are not bougie. Um, they're really friendly. Like, we kicked it, like, the whole day while we were working, like, talked about a bunch of different stuff. So, still waiting to hear back from that. Um, I thought that would be a cool, like, part-time job, even though I've never really been into retail. I'm just good with people because it's, like, 
it's a retail store, but, like, you're learning so much more about just, like, everything. Like, how to, like, be the face of a brand because, like, you literally are, like, when I tell you guys, people were asking to take pictures with me. I'm like, this, I don't even really work here yet. Like, this is just my trial day. So, that was pretty cool. Um, and then from that, what else have I done? Um, I shot a Toyota. I'm sorry. I shot a Honda commercial last Sunday and got paid for that. So, that was pretty amazing. Like, I just been lucking up on all these paid gigs. Like, All Dev Digital came out the blue. I shot with them twice um, at the All Dev Digital uh, Studios here in Clover City. Um, and they paid me for that. And like I told you guys before, like, I wasn't even picked in the casting. Like, they didn't really want to pick me because I'm not a comedian. And I've worked with them twice since then. The Honda commercial was everything. Um, one of my friends works for a production studio and they were looking for extras and she just texted me and was like, hey, like, are you available today? And I just, I was available. So 8 a.m. I got up and I went. Um, there weren't a lot of extras on set, so I got to do a lot of different stuff. So look out for that. It's my first, like, legit, like, major brand commercial. Like, Honda is huge. Um, so yeah, look out for me in that. And it was about, like, when you um, go to the car dealership, if you're a college graduate, you know that car dealerships give you discounts if you can show them your degree. So it was basically about a girl who um, just graduated from USC, and I live, like, literally five seconds from USC. And um, she got a Honda for graduation, so she's, like, with her friends celebrating. We walked to her dorm room, and she's, like, saying bye to everybody. Um, and then she, like, driving off, like, in her new car with her family, like, driving on campus and then heading out or whatever that was like an awesome experience there was like hair makeup it was like everything was so legit that was pretty fun and I have like a that that'll be an additional tv credit to the one that I already have um what else like literally I've just been on more job interviews and dates like <laughs> I look out for that blog uh vlog more job interviews and dates I'm going to tell you guys about all the companies I've interviewed with within the couple months I've been job hunting the do's and the don'ts that I've learned about L.A. job hunting, just everything. So look out for that. Um, I'll be uploading that one probably next week. Yeah, I'll be uploading that one next week because that's something that's been, like, long overdue. Oh, yeah, and I'm just going to get a lot better at uploading. I always feel like I have nothing to talk about, but I have a lot to talk about. So I need to get better at that. Every week I'm going to be um trying to um, upload a video twice a week if I attend an event. Like, tonight I'm going to CBS, so I'm definitely going to upload that after this one's uploaded. Um, and what else has been going on? Entertainment tonight. I talked about that a little bit earlier, but let me... Okay, so I do red carpets here for a platform called EURweb.com. I... Um, one of my friends, when I first moved here, was working for the platform. So I got their contact information through her. Um, I just put together a reel, which is basically, like, all the celebrity interviews that I've done. I put them together in, like, one, like, like one, like, under two-minute tape. And I submitted it and said, hey, I want to do celebrity interviews, and this is what I've done so far. I got on the platform. Um, so they sent me out to different carpets here. And not all the carpets are super big as, like, I would want them to be. Like, I want to do, like the music awards like I want to do like some of the larger carpets but um they're good for what they're good for because the networking is like really good when I do do them so um the NAACP image awards happened and I did the carpet for that for the platform and while there um ET was there um Entertainment Tonight which is a CBS um state uh, channel I'm sorry which is a CBS um series it's like the Insider, Entertainment Tonight, they're like celebrity news, um, red carpets, all that stuff. And they're huge. They're like E! Online. Like, it's, you have ETV and then you have Extra and you have E! Online. Like, those are like, oh, Access Hollywood. Those are like huge. So, um, I went up to their team, the, um, one of the producers. I just was like, basically, hey, I just moved here. Like, I went to college for marketing. I have a degree. I've worked in this. I've done this. I have a real. I'm here, you know, doing this carpet right now. Do you guys have any, like, internships? Normally, I ask about internships even though I'm not in college because that at least starts the conversation of, well, what have you done? If people know that you'll work for free for something, they know that you really want to do it. So even if you don't want to work for free, sometimes it's just a foot in a conversation, just like it's a foot in a door. It's good to say, hey, I wanted to know if you had any internships or any free work available because people are, when they hear free, they just, like, their, their ears open. So um, I asked, there was a lady named Susan that, and she was just basically like, oh, well, you know, you're not in college anymore, so you can't intern. 
So I was like kind of bummed because I'm like, okay, I know where this is going. She's just going to give me an email and tell me to keep in contact and nothing's going to happen. Um, but she was just like, well, but you know what? We have um, positions available in the vault. The vault is basically like the part of entertainment tonight that um, all the archives and everything is kept. So I would basically have been doing like transcribing stuff. So when they do their interviews on air and like, you know, for digital space, I would be like typing it up to archive it. Um, going out to carpets when assignments were like free because they know I want to be on camera. Um, just all that good stuff. So I... Uh, got the contact from her. I'm emailing this lady. The lady that she gave me, um, her name was Miss Donna Barnes. She's an amazing woman. Um, she's like so sweet. Um, but I ha I was emailing her, emailing her, emailing her. At no part of her own, people are just busy. Like any demanding industry, you gotta be consistent with the emails. Like I was probably emailing her like twice a week. Like emailing, emailing, emailing. I have a friend that works at Entertainment Tonight, and I one day I just was like, you know what? Let me text um, her and see what's possible, like if she could connect me any other way. She did, she gave me a phone number and um, I called the phone number and I um, got an answer from Ms. Donald on the first call and I just, it was kind of awkward though because I'm like, I'd never talked to her on the phone. I'm just like, hey, my name is Lauren, um, I've been emailing you, I got your contact from Miss Suzanne about positions, entry level positions, I'm not eligible to intern but she told me that you guys did have something available so I just wanted to call and see what what was still available if anything was still available and she was like oh well you know you called me at a good time i'm actually going through the interviews right now um we have we have two more positions left that we haven't filled come in so it took me about a week to work out a day to come in with her her schedule was like all over the place um and then i went in i did the interview and they had you do this test this test was like the beginning part of the test was expected like uh channel history series history who, who are the hosts on the channel, celebrity news, like, all that stuff. The second half of the test, it was, like, they gave you photos of different celebrities and you had to name them. There were 60 celebrities. The first time I took this test, okay, let me just disclaimer. I have um, always been very interested in the music industry, and then I've always done a lot of urban stuff just because it's, like, that's just what I grew up seeing. Like, you know, like, BT, like, the urban market is what I grew up on. So moving here to L.A., one of my biggest challenges is adapting to such a diverse market, but that's what I wanted and that's why I came here. So that's why platforms like Entertainment Tonight are where I know I'm going to be. Um, but this test though, out of 60 celebrities, I probably named 30 and I know all 30 weren't correct. And five of them were like Bill Cosby, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West. So like, you know, like they don't, yeah, not like, yeah. So out of 60, 30, and I know all 30 weren't correct. Um, so I was like, dang, like, I kind of just bummed this interview. Like, I bugged her forever and forever, and now I'm here, and I can't even name these celebrities. Like, I really felt like I took it hard on myself because I'm like, Lauren, how can you say you want to be in L.A., you want to be in Hollywood and be a, amongst and a part of Hollywood, and you can't even name those who need to be named in Hollywood? I was like, there's no excuse for this. Like, if she doesn't give you this job, you have to just take that one on the back and say, it's because of you. So after she looked over my test, we sat down and we did this whole interview and she just loved me, like loved my personality, loved my drive. Like I, I kept it real with her about my story, everything I've been going through, like, you know, like job hunting wise, like moving out here just on some faith, like everything. And she just was like, I love it. Like, I love your personality. You will be perfect for entertainment. Like, don't ever let anybody tell you that this is not the right industry for you because just how you come off in this interview, I know people will want to watch you. So Continue doing what you're doing. So I really loved that. And it really made me like, I was like, okay, like, maybe she's going to hire me. But she was like, but this test, though, like, you got to get this test correct. I need you to know way more of the celebrity names in the bag. So she was like, you know, how about you take some time, study a little bit more, and I'll give you another chance to do the test. So from then on, I'm, like, on Instagram memorizing people's names. like, Because a lot of the people I have watched movies with, watch shows with some of the movies I've seen multiple multiple times because I love the movie but I just didn't know their names off the top of my head I'm not good with names in everyday life like so yeah like it was just bad um but I was on Instagram like looking at pictures and studying names I went to all the major outlets so like I was studying like just Jared's Instagram US Weekly People Glamour In Style Entertainment Tonight, of course, E! Online. Um, I'm normally not always home when the shows come on TV, like the E! Online recaps, the, I mean, the, the Entertainment Tonight recaps, the um, 
e-news recaps for the day. But I'm, I was making sure I was home just to watch these shows so I could see these people. I was normally on YouTube while I watched Breakfast Club and other YouTubers. I was, like, YouTubing, like, Ellen and Wendy and, like, just all this stuff. But it really, like, woke me up. Like, I told myself from now on I'm going to get in a daily habit of reading articles from news outlets that are not my everyday comfort zone outlets because I should have been doing it. Like, there's no reason why you say you want a job as, let's say, a construction worker and you don't go to school and learn construction. So I felt like, you know, Lauren, you got to learn your craft. Like, you got to be a student of your market and of your business. Um, so that's what I'm going to, like, still keep doing. But anyway, I went back and I took the test for the second time. I did way, I knew I did way better because there were like way less stuff blank. I just felt better about the test, but it still was not 100% and I knew that. So when I handed in the test, she was like, you know, thank you so much for like your diligence. Like I was on her about, you know, scheduling that second test, like all that stuff. Um, and she was just like, I'll look, compare this test to your first test and then I'll get back to you. So um, probably like four days later, um, I got a phone call from her. And I was surprised because normally, like, with, like, big brands or, like, outlets like that, you don't get phone calls back. Like, if you don't get it, you just don't get it. So I didn't get it, but she had called me and let, let me know I didn't get it, and I was super surprised. And she was like, you know, I've interviewed a lot of people for these um, two positions that we have open, and I'm not going to, like, call everyone back, but I did want to talk to you because I didn't want to leave you hanging. And I really enjoyed um, your interview and, like, just meeting you and um, you came really highly recommended. So I called you to, to let you know to stay in contact. Like, whatever you did the second time around studying or prepping for the test, make that an everyday pattern and stay in contact and let's try this again when something else opens up. So I said that to say that, like, when I, you guys saw my videos from when I first moved here, it was like, this needs to happen now. If it doesn't happen, it's not going to happen. I'm so pissed, like, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm just like, like, when I hung up the phone, my friend was sitting here in the living room, and I was just like, I didn't get entertainment tonight. And she was like, oh, my God, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm good. It's going to happen. Like, I've really, like, gotten so much better with that. Like, I used to be, like, no patience whatsoever. But I don't even think it's, like, patience anymore. I think that, like, my faith is growing a lot more. Like, now I have a lot more faith in that, in the fact that, like, I have a greater purpose here in being in L.A. and, like, being in pursuit of, like, entertainment and, like, just digital, like, building my brand digitally so that I'm a digital influencer, if that's what you want to title it. Like, I know that it's going to happen for me and that it's destined to happen for me. Like, it was supposed to happen for me before I knew I wanted it. So I'm okay with things not working out instantly because they're going to work out. And I'm going to put all my work ethic into making sure they do. And God, God's got me. Like, I'm good. So um, that happened. Um, I got something else going on, but I can't tell you guys yet. Um, but I have something else really bomb that's, um, I confirmed already and that's going to uh, be happening soon and starting soon. Still looking to move, um, me and my friend Mariah, we haven't started looking though, like we're both trying to like get this, like, like she's trying to like move into her new, like a, a new job before she moves and I'm like waiting for my new venture to start. So, um, yeah. And I just realized I need to start doing these vlogs like at least once a week, like, you guys have been really receptive to them, and thank you. Like, continue to ask me questions in my comments. Email me. Some of you guys have even found me on Instagram and wrote me there. Like, keep doing that. Like, I need to get on it. So, once a week, I'll be uploading. Twice a week, if I attend stuff or even more, depending on what's going on. It, I don't know. I wrote down some stuff. Let me see if I missed anything. Some of the stuff that I wrote down. Um, Alicia texted me. Um, um, my face looks like so crazy. My hair is like, I haven't, I'm, I need to curl it. Like, it's just not, <laughs> I don't know, but whatever. Um, Oh, I I um I also auditioned for a BT James host position and like it was pretty bomb. I um submitted my stuff through an email. They like sent out like a mass email to like I guess people in the industry that they knew just basically saying that 
I think they're about to start up something that's like a 106 of Park, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but they sent out this email to people in the industry, like basically saying they were looking for a female and a male host. Um, so many people sent it to me. Like when I tell you guys, it is important to bring yourself on everything. So social media, like in person, the conversations you have, the people you hang around, like everything, because I only knew about the audition because of friends, like people who like I hang around who are in the same industry, who know what it is I'm trying to do. And I submitted myself. I made it through. There was like two rounds of like emails and like submissions that you had to do. And then I got called in. And it was like so official. When I walked in, um, the guy, Don Benjamin, the Instagram model, and T.I.'s daughter were there in the holding room. So like I was auditioning with them. So I don't know who's going to be picked. I haven't heard anything back yet. But that happened. That was pretty cool. It went by so fast, though. Like I got there. Um, they gave us like our, our scripts. Um, they gave us a few minutes to prepare. I went in, you said the script on camera, um, and then they asked me a couple questions about, like, college and, like, just, like, regular life, like, who I knew and stuff like that, and then that was it. Like, I was just like, oh, thank you. Um, so that happened, too. That was pretty cool. I want you guys to tell me more of what you want to see, like, comment, ask questions. Like, I have a whole Q&A vlog that's going to happen as well. Like, let me know. Like, ask the question so I can answer them. I'm, like, so into that. Um, we just, we got to get more into this YouTube thing. Like, I feel like y'all digging me. I'm digging y'all. We got to get more into it. So, <laughs> yeah. I think that might be it, though, for right now. Until I head out to go to CBS. I need to actually take a nap, and it's 5 o'clock, and I need to be there by 6.30. So, I only have, like, 10 minutes to, like, sit still with my eyes closed. So, I'm going to sign out right now. Keep watching. Um, visit my website, laurenlarosa.com. Um, I'm doing, like, a lot of entertainment updates there. I have a writer who's been working with me who's, like, great. So I'm trying to upload on there. Well, I am uploading on there twice a week. She submits twice a week. Um, and then I'm doing this YouTube thing. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. You should be able to click right there to do it. Um, YouTube.com backslash 2L television. That's Lauren Rosa TV. For those of you guys who are like, what is that? It's Lauren Rosa TV. And I'm about to get some shut-eye before I head to CBS. So, thanks for watching, guys.